pool at the moment for the big one this Sunday. Hartlepool Yacht Club is hosting this year's National Water Ski Racing Championships with the help of industrial sponsors and the local council. Tony Cook caught up with some of the skiers as they were going through their paces at Hartlepool. Hartlepool reckons it has the best facilities in Britain for this kind of event. For 12 years, the national championships were held here, but for the last four years, other coastal towns had tempted the event away. But this year, the top skiers are back, 60 of them who'll be skiing at up to 80 miles an hour in Hartlepool Bay on Sunday. That's if the weather stays calm. Eight skiing events are being staged, and the winners are expected to go on to challenge eight countries in the European Championships next year. Now, you say good facilities. I mean, Hartlepool Bay has a reputation of being a bit rough. Well, yes, it does, but the skiers, in fact, quite enjoy the rougher water because then it becomes a ski race instead of a boat race. So that even if you've got a very fast boat, if you haven't got a good skier, then you're not going to win the race. And talking of fast boats, I mean, some are capable of speeds up to 80 miles an hour. This sounds pretty dangerous to me. Well, it's very well organised because it is a team event. We've got a driver, an observer who's sitting backwards looking after the skier, and then the skier. And between them, they have signals and they control the speed, so it isn't dangerous. We've had very, very few accidents. Well, you're expecting 4,000 people on Sunday. I hope it's a good day for you. I certainly do. It's a very, very good spectator event. and We've pulled the, sh the course as close inshore as we possibly can so that hopefully they shouldn't be too far away and should get a very good view. For your diary for Sunday. Time now for more news with Stuart Racing McNeil. Championships. Hartlepool Yacht Clubs organising the event, which will take place at Hartlepool Bay on Sunday, starting at 11 a.m. It certainly promises to be an exciting event, and as Alan Powell found out this morning, some of the competitors are already practising hard for it. Hartlepool Bay provides a perfect natural amphitheatre for one of the most exciting of spectator sports. And at least 10,000 people will crowd the shoreline on Sunday to watch some of the top names in British water skiing. The main event is actually four races in one and skiers behind the larger, more powerful boats will be reaching speeds of 80 miles an hour. The job of organising 300 competitors for a few hours fast and furious action has fallen to Barbara Griffiths of the Hartlepool Yacht Club. We've brought the course further inshore than we've ever had it before, so people should have a really good view, either from Middleton area or from along the front at Seaton Carew. So we've brought it in as close as we possibly can for safety. Tell me about these boats. I mean, how fast do they go? Well, we've got four formulas running within the one race. The Formula 4 boats will do roughly about 50 miles an hour. Formula uh, 3, about 60. Formula 2, about 70. And the Formula 1 boats, about 80 miles an hour. <laughs> And they manage to keep up on, on, on their skis at yes. that speed, do they? <laughs> yes, they do. They've got an observer sitting in the boat who is sitting backwards watching the skier, and he actually controls the speed of the boat. They have a signal system whereby if the skier is struggling and they need to slow down, the observer will tell the driver, so it's quite safe. Yeah. 